Hey guys, it's me, Vixel123, and welcome to Geometry Dash in Minecraft, another Minecraft 1.8 challenge map. Lachlan challenged the rest of the pack to give this map a go. It's essentially the impossible game within Minecraft. It's a 2D platformer. It's crazy how this is actually been made in Minecraft, so a huge shout out to Fahrenheit. V2.0 and uh, 90 field of view recommended, 20 plus rendering distance. So 90 FOV I have and render distance. Let's set it to uh, let's set it to 20. Um, so, oh the circuits. Should we go and have a look at them? Wait, how do I? Okay, no, I'm not meant to go over there. All right, well we are going to begin the game. So first of all, choose my color. Well, I'm yellow, obviously. There we go. That is that is my favorite color picked. It's not my favorite color. It's just the color I always end up being. Okay, so here we are. Big up Fahrenheit, and uh, this is the map, so I believe there are one, two, three completed levels, and then a fourth one, can you customise that yourself, or is it in progress? And uh, Lachlan set the challenge that you have 15 minutes, you can see I've got a little timer in the top right of my screen, 15 minutes to get as far through all these levels as you can, add the percents up, see how you do, I think Lachlan got 130 something percent, Rob got 160 something percent, and I'm the third person to take this on. I do like platformers like this. I used to play a load of uh, an iOS game called Cube Runner, which is a similar kind of concept. So we are going to start the timer, jump straight into it, and see how it goes. So there's going to be a lot of strategy going on here, because there's three different levels, and you've got to get the highest percent on all of them. Maybe I'll complete one of them. Who knows? I doubt it, though. But, um... Yeah, it's going to be weighing up my time between the three levels, seeing where I can get the most percent. But I start off with the first level, keeping it easy, nice and easy. So here we go. Boom. Start. We have 15 minutes. Let's go. So here we go. Oh, wow. Uh, whoa. Um, okay, so I saw a little bit of the gameplay. Yes, F1 is going to help from the other guys. But wow, this is uh, this is quite something. Okay, so I'm a little cube, so I guess I can't get stopped. The thing is, it's weird. If I actually look at the cube, we are storming through this. If I actually look at the cube, it's a little bit glitchy, but come on. No! Damn it! Whoa! 60% my first attempt, so if I can do that on all three levels, I'll be onto a winner right there, but I assume they're gonna get more difficult. The key to this, I feel like, is just, yeah, this is kind of like, it's like parkour. The jumping is the same number of blocks, so if you know how many blocks you can jump on Minecraft, you're doing the same thing here, although you're a little cube, and I'm not sure if you jump from, like, floor height or above, but, um, hopefully, I can, I can keep my cool in this and, uh, put together a decent time. <gasps> There was a spike on the staircase. The trolls. Nah, I've lost my, I've lost my flow. My, uh, my huge flow is not a go anymore. <laughs> what was that? Okay, so the coins. I guess coins are good. I always want to get star coins. Um, I'm gonna choose the bottom route this time. I don't know. I like it. I feel like there's maybe less margin for error. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But here, just keep it moving along. Keep it moving along. So there, you jump quite early here, you drop down, you go up, you go over, you get to here, jump over again, here, you're going to go bounce up again, get the coin, go over here. Oh my, we don't want to hit those now. Wait, we did want to hit the second one, 72%, going to give this another few goes, we're still early on into the video here. So, right, I'm starting to slowly learn the little tricky bits, so I need to hit the second jet stream down there, okay. So, go over the top this time, just mix it up each time around, I guess may as well get the coin. I don't know if that does anything. I don't think it does. Right, let's get these jumps in line. It's just knowing when to jump and when to just let it slide. So here, all right, here we go. So we make it over here. We jump over one. We jump over two. We bounce in the air. We go over here. We go under. We avoid that one and we ride this one. And then, oh my God, 100% completed three coins. Woo, okay. So I only need 60% across these two, 60 something percent. And I'll be set. Okay. Wow. I'm surprised. Okay. So here. All right. So here it seems like you need to jump early. Wait. Jump early, he says, as he jumps late. I can't believe I just beat the level. Oh, this one's dealing some trouble. Okay. Come on. Let's keep it cool, calm, and collected. Just like so. Up the stairs. Over we go. Hop on here. Drop down over here. Bounce it over. Keep it moving. Okay, this is, well, what do we do here? Not jumping the gap, 32%. So if I could do that again on the last level, I think I'll be tied with Rob. I think I want to say 164 on that. Oh, what am I doing on this lower level? Oh, okay. So if I do end up, I, I like that there's multiple different routes and you just kind of choose which one works for you. I guess you choose which one you end up on. I think the top route here is definitely my favorite one. So drop down here, bounce it over, bounce it over. So what 
Okay, we're at this bit here. Wait a little bit later. Jump it over. Jump it over. Jump it all the way. Did we want to get the boost there? Yes, we did. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Go up. Oh, I thought I was ripped then. I thought I died. Come on. Oh. No. What did I die to? 72. Wait. Whoa. I think I'm in the lead right now on the second level. Okay. Whoa. Roll it back. Roll it back. Come on. That got really, really, really scary, really, really fast. The thing is, when you die so late, it just demoralizes you. Wow, and if I move my mouse, it actually shakes the screen. I think I've ripped down. I've not somehow. Oh, I don't even care about the coin. It's weird, because if I actually look at my block, it makes this really difficult to do. The key is not failing. And looking ahead, looking ahead definitely, I think, is the one. And kind of judging the speed at which the blocks come towards. Although I say that, I'm, I'm choking it up now. Come on, come on. Thing is, I may, I think, be in the lead in terms of percent right now. But that doesn't mean someone else can't come along and uh, and beat me. But it's not really about beating or anything. It's nice to have benchmarks and that sort of stuff set up. But it's, it's, this is a really, really fun, cool map. While it's going well, I've not actually raged a whole amount just yet. I've not, no, I've not, I've not. I almost raged then just for the sake of raging. I was like, why would I rage? I'm not even mad. I'm all right for now. Although, give me another five minutes on this level and I may... Be crying tears, because I need to keep that focus. Focus raise. It's just trying to work out in my head, when is it worth stopping on this level? Like, when do I call it quits and go on to the next one? That's what I'm trying to work out, because surely the more I practice, the better I'm going to get. But, you know, I may be in a position where I'm starting to get, you know, repetition is messing with my head. I'm not fresh anymore on this level. And uh, the monotony of it, the monotony, that's a nice choice. I've been trying to increase my vocabulary in videos, you use new words and such, big words, um, monotony, like boringness from the word monotonous, hey, English lessons with Vic, I don't even, can't even, won't even, ooh, okay, that's good, so here we go, bounce it, that's, uh, I really fluked that, um, I fluked that round, I did really well on here, because I can't even compete with the same level of moving through the level ability right now, I don't know, uh, so I think just jumping for everything earlier is generally a best bet. Just keep it moving nice and early. Uh-oh. There's no way, is there? That's just rip once you're down there. That's bad. Vic? All right, I'm going to give myself till um, seven minutes on the clock. So another minute. I looked over to my clock then to see how the time was doing. And that cost me that attempt. Whoa. I was doing late minute jumps there. It automatically gives you this texture pack thing as well, whatever this is. This is crazy. I'm trying to work out how it actually works. Is it like, I don't even, I can't even begin to. I guess the stuff moves towards you and you just jump up and down on the spot. Vic, focus. I talk to myself. I sound like a crazy person. Anyone who walked past my room while I'm recording right now would think I'm crazy. But I live in a house full of YouTubers, so they probably understand. But if any non-YouTube person was to come across me right now, they will probably think I'm missing brain cells. All right, last attempt. Last attempt plus one. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it fluent. I feel like once I do a jump that's not exactly smooth, it just messes me up for the rest of the run. Like, it offsets me. Puts me in a panic. Just need to stay calm, collected. That's too late. One more. One more plus two. It w <laughs> Plus three. I was going to... Plus four. I want a good attempt. I was going to say I wasn't even at the seven minutes then, but by the time I'd given all my excuses, I was. Taking a break. We'll come back to it. We'll come back. Okay, the final level. This should be the hardest. What do we have? If I can press the button. Okay, we're going under here. Whoa. Wait, I think I'm supposed to go over these. So fly, fly, fly. I'm going to need to bounce when I hit here. Okay, that's all good. Got another platform to go on. Do I bounce? I do. Bounce. Da -na -na -da -na -na. <laughs> they cut my song short. Okay, there's a, looks like there's a lot of options there. I think the floor looked like a good route there. Um, here, I want to bounce again. Okay, that works. What happened to my jumps then? My jumps just got messed up. I think it's like I kind of caught the block a little bit. Right. Calm, cool, and focused. Hit that. Fall through there. That's lined up nicely. Okay, you need to be spamming that jump once you get to the jump over section. Did I mess up there before? I think I did as well. Okay. 
How are you supposed to get that coin? You're supposed to do the really difficult route. There we go. That's an easier way to do that bit. And it sets you up much better for these bits here. 44. Okay. Progress being made. 44. So let me think. Let me think. Um, why, why do I need to think? Oh, you're not doing it like that. Wait, you can actually go the whole way through over the top there. I never even saw that route until now. So if you nail all of those jumps, is that even a viable option? Thing is, it's difficult to see what you're doing and then try and check. Okay, so you can go over. That looks decent, but I don't think it's as good. Oh no, should I try it? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Well, given the opportunity, I would attempt it. Can't really work out in my head whether that would be easier or more difficult. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to spam jump because on those individual, on the one block ones, you don't have to time it that well, I feel like. I feel like I can just go jump, 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 jump. And there we go. Down to here. Jump that, jump that. I, okay, I'm going to drop down there. So that's what you can do at that point. You can drop down. By the way, guys, by all means, uh, let the map creator know. He did an awesome job on this. It's crazy that you can create something like this in Minecraft and also try it out for yourself. See what percent you can get within 15 minutes of game time. Dropping through, dropping over. Oh, 60. Oh, okay. We are adding numbers. It's currently 232, I believe. 232 on the block. Literally on the block. How long we got? We got, okay, we're at the 10 minute mark. I think this has promise. The route that I have so far, the route that I've worked out. Until I forgot to go over the jet booster. What are these jet boosters like? How do they even work? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even understand. Is this Minecraft anymore? I don't. I just, wow. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, that's way easy. Way easier, I should say. What? There's a jet booster there that just rips you. Okay, you have to go down. That's a troll. That is not a viable route in this day and age. In this society we live in. It is not to be rooted. Choked. Right. You have to jump really early on that, but I'm not even going to try that. I'm not even going to try that. Stick to stick to what I know. Stick to my guns. From my gun squad. All right, here we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Get ready to go here. Bounce again. Drop it down. I think under, honestly, under there is the way to go. I think that was a route under that I could do. I'm just trying to maximize percentages right here. See how that works out. Let's go. Uh, I've got a flow for this map and I've not had too much difficulty. Haven't choked too many times just yet. So you drop down here, jump over there, up there. Okay, there I think I'm just going to drop down. Okay, so I need to keep that in mind. So I don't even need to do that next jump along. It may lead me with a harder route down the bottom. But I think that's where I'm going to add percents right now. Really? I hit that? Okay. To be honest, I don't know how I didn't hit it every other time, but we'll roll with it. I really, I'm tempted. Give this another attempt or two and then go back to uh, level two. I feel like I could beat this though with just a little bit of focus. With a bit of focus. Derp mode activated. I know, I just panicked. I was like, why? Why you know just all right, I need to I need to plan ahead. That's what I need to do. I need to get to sections and work out what I'm gonna look ahead and work out what I do at each section. Rather than as soon as I see it, like what am I doing? Just I don't I need I can't do it instinctively now that I actually know the map. So here we go. We drop down here, we jump over like standard, we jump up and up, then we drop down. Okay, and you die, okay, but that gave me more percent, so. I guess for the moment, it's good. All right, this is the final attempt on this level. I guess I do have to go up at that section. Final attempt right now, and I'm going to go back to level two to see if I can add any value over there. But it's getting to the point where I've been, you know, these levels are getting quite long. So it's in a position where I'm not guaranteed to add that much value. 64. All right, let's give this one another go. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to see what I can do here. Thing is, I've almost forgotten how this level even goes now, which is the slight worry. But I'm fresh coming in. And now it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. 
Okay, here we go. Damn, damn. Okay, so that one you do go early. I had a feeling. Ooh, sometimes I get a block feeling. No. Get a feeling that I'm gonna mess up the rest of this game. Oh, yeah. I get a good feeling. Yeah. Let's see what it gonna be. What it gonna be. Jump early. Jump on here. Then jump early again. And again. And again. And again. One, two, jump up. Down. And I'm rip. <laughs> okay, you need to hit that booster. Alright, we got a minute left. Looking at that timing nearly cost me my little yellow block of beautifulness. Oh, no. I knew I jumped too, uh, too early then. Oh, come on. All right. This has to be the one. This could be my final attempt. I might squeeze in one more if I die early on this. Not that I would like to die early on this attempt. But, you know, stuff does happen. Just get the nice balances. All right, judge the distance and aim for the middle of the block. Okay, so here we go up. We go up. Oh, okay. You need to dodge the first one. Go for the second one. I don't think I ever worked that out before. This, I could actually get back and pull in another cheeky one if I die in the same place, but I don't intend on dying in the same place. I died before, so I could get a cheeky another go, and time seems to be in slow motion right now. Ooh, come on. Okay, focus, focus, focus. Oh, I was panicking then. Vic, all right, this is it. The final attempt. No, this is it. This is it. Here we go. Okay, I really don't have any more time to be messing around with this. It's make it or break it. I shouldn't have put this pressure on myself. Okay. Let's roll. Let's literally, this cube is gonna roll. I'm on a roll. Jimmy, I'm on a roll. Yes. You need to fall off that one. That's where I got to before. Damn it. Well, stop the clock. What did we get here? What is the high score? Well, that's actually easy. We've got 100. Then we have 172. And then what do we get here? 64. 172. 236. 236 is uh, my score. So 236 two, out of 300. I will take it. I will take it. But you know what? Now that time's up, I want to, I wanna, you know I feel like I can do I can do some of this. So my my official entry is over, but just for my own satisfaction, let's see if I can get my satisfaction. Do do do, and I've jumped too late there. All right, let's give this like a couple attempts, <laughs> and that will be over real quick at this rate. It's all about what. It looks like the map kind of like speeds up and slows down. Like you see the perspective of the blocks change. It's almost as if they curl around. Okay. Here we go. We jump early here because we're going down. We're yelling timber. You better move. You better. Okay, so here we go. We drop through here. So we need to avoid that one. Okay, I got like another 2%. If we can get to that same point again and we fail again, how do we avoid that one? I guess you just need to jump really early, like as soon as you touch down on that pad. All right, I'm getting to grips with this. I'm fluent now. I'm fluent in the language of a jumping yellow block. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. That is enough for me for now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I set the benchmark for now. If you did, feel free to try out the map yourself. Let Preston, Mitch, and Jerome know they've been challenged, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye!